This week. You motorboat and son of a bitch, you old sailor, you. Wedding crashes. Well, let's go kill some birds, I'm psyched. And the champagne of beers. Miller High Life. Why don't you hit that subscribe button while you're fucking waiting around, assholes? I'm not drunk again. I'm reloaded. Makes sense. What do you say there, John? Living a dream, Tommy. Living a dream. We got a pretty funny movie today. It's not even fair. Oh, yeah. I laughed my balls off. Even I wasn't too excited about the beer pick today, though. Listen, we're doing a movie about weddings. Why not have the champagne of beers? Miller High Life. Uh, I want to say ahead of time, I love just about any beer. And Miller puts out some good products. They're light beers, but they're still great for a drink after drink day. But High Life, eh. I agree. I don't mind light, and MGD is pretty good. But for me, I'm officially using my very first skunky beer face. Come on, Tommy. I mean, I wouldn't choose a High Life, but beer is beer. I'll go a mug at least. Go a little love, you know? Uh, let me think. Nah. I'm going skunky beer face. Just to be fair, if it were Miller Genuine Draft, I'd throw it like two mugs. No hate here. Just enjoy some deep dark flavors lately. You becoming a beer snob, Tommy? No. I'm just getting particular. Make no mistakes. If I'm at a party and it's free, all you can drink, Miller High Life, I'll skunky beer face drink the fuck out of that shit. Beer snob wouldn't do that. True. Okay. So wedding crashes. Funny, funny film. I like these two guys together. And that redhead? Did I find you? <laughs> oh, I wish he'd find me. Keep dreaming, Tom. Okay. W what are you doing? Probably not appropriate, but it involved her bent over with... Oh, okay. I seen, Tom. You're right. I almost caused a big mess. Okay, so scene one involves Miss... Isla Fisher, or a character, Gloria, after Vince Vaughn's character, Jeremy, is thrown a wicked fucking beating out in the football field. <laughs> also, Owen Wilson can try to find the Rachel McAdams character. <laughs> Jeremy is just trying to recover. I had your sister's boyfriend try and help me up and down the field all afternoon. My legs cut and bleeding. But our little nymph wants you more. Where's my little friend? Oh, no, no. I'm sorry, he's Where's tired. He's tired. He's, oh, tired. he's tired. He's tired. He's in timeout. Little... I'll show you. Really? What's the luck, Jeremy? <laughs> ow! Ow! She's evil. I'm in love. Relax, Gella. This is where the hunter becomes the hunted, and then... We're only starting to express ourselves in a physical, sexual, specifically way. That's <laughs> it! Seriously, what? why can't I find a nice psychopath gal like that? Who would torture me so nice? I, I don't know, Tom. Maybe because she's just an actress in a film? Wrong. There are crazy bitches out there like that. Unfortunately, they usually become serial killers. So a little pump and dump, then you're in pieces out there in the world somewhere. Anyway, Jeremy just wants to get away from her, but eventually finds out she's just as slick. I believe that she was a virgin. It hurts to be lied to like that. Uh, uh, he's mine. He's like sneaky bitch. I think I love you. Okay. As Owen Wilson's trying to get some, he ends up quail hunting. Oh, I don't even know what the fuck a quail is. The physical comedy in this alone is hilarious. Ah! Ah! Thrown by the gun, shot in the ass, etc. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> it's just so funny. You have a dark side, Tom. Hey, hear me out. I've gone through hoops trying to get laid. I've done things I'm not proud of. But once gunfire begins, I'm with Vaughn or Jeremy. Selfish son of a bitch! You leave me in the trenches taking grenades, John! Huh, selfish son of a bitch. I know how he feels after 30 years of friendship with you. Hey, I haven't thrown you in front of a shotgun. Yeah. True. I guess we really don't know where little Tommy will lead me. That's what scares me. I can say it will hopefully never lead to our bonus scene. Oh, yes. They need to know about us. They're okay. You probably would deserve a night. The, the stuff that I wore around all day, playing football in, pouring sweat in, was shoved into my mouth. Of shock eating. And boy-on-boy -boy action. Yeah, I'm the selfish son of a bitch. Glad I can indulge your weird homoerotic fantasies. Oh, it has nothing to do with homoerotic. I just laugh at you being tortured. Don't get me wrong. Even with the sick thoughts gone through your head about that fiery redhead, I'd love to watch her squirt alcohol into your cuts. Ow! Ow! You're a mean person, John. That's the pot calling it kettle black. I don't think you can say that term anymore. What? Never mind. I'm not going down Riot Road. Anyway, our final scene involves Will Ferrell as Chaz. Damn you. 
I almost nunchucked you. You don't even realize. Now, this shit is funny. Guy is a legend. Figures out how to pick up chicks at funerals. Almost even too dark for me. Damn it! Damn you! You do have a heart. I said almost. I'd buy him dinner and comfort him. You're a sick bastard, Tom. That's what I love about this movie. These are my people. All fucking ahead. Why don't you try getting jacked off under the table in front of the whole damn family and have some real problems? Jackass. Anyhow, I'm going four out of five. I only knock it for the romantic comedy it becomes in the end. But does it? You have a point. Maybe Wedding Crashes too. is all sick orgies with these four fucks. Oh, God. Yeah, just stay with four. I'll give you a five out of five. It's a fun movie. You're really going to take my five from me? Yep. But I'll let you pick next week's movie. I'm taking a beer. How about the Blues Brothers? Actually, a really good idea. Since we're going Chicago, how about Goose Island? All right, I'm game. I'm going home and watch that bathroom scene again. Later, fuckers. I'm going to go get drunk so I can get that thought out of my head. Later. Don't forget to subscribe, people.